Good morning! How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's a new week. It's Sunday again. Sunday all day long. The first day of the week. So tell me about your weekend. What did you do? And what was interesting about your weekend? I hope everything is okay. So everyone, today we have a new lesson. And we're going to learn four vocabulary words. So before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. What is the day and what's the date? Sunday, May 17, 2020. Well done. So everyone, look at these kids. They are very excited and happy to learn. And I want you to be exactly as happy as them. I want you to raise your hands up and say, it's English time. So it's English time and we're gonna learn new vocabulary words. So let's get started. So let's read the objectives together. I'll read the objectives. By the end of the lesson, I can identify the meaning of each word. I can also use grade level vocabulary in sentences. Thank you for helping. So at the beginning of the lesson, I said to you, we're going to learn four vocabulary words, right? Yes. So what I want you to do, everyone, is to get your English book because we're going to use it. So get your English book, grab some pencils, and let's learn okay okay so well done you get your english book now i want you to open page 375 okay open the page write the day and date and listen carefully well done okay so Usually when we have a new vocabulary words, what we are going to do is to look at the picture and also read the sentence because the picture and the sentence will help you to guess what is the word, right? Right. So let's go everyone to the first picture. I want you to look over here and to describe what do you see. So I'm going to give you some time. Look at the picture. You can use adjective words because adjective words will help you to describe, right? Right. So what do you see, everyone? I can see two girls um, patting or like they're patting the puppy. So are they nice to him? Yes. Okay. And one of the girls is hugging the puppy. Okay, well done. So, can you read the sentence over here? Of course. The girls gently patted the puppy at the shelter. Okay, everyone. So, do you see the red word over here? Yes. Okay, I want you to try to read it. I want you to try to read it. Spell it. Spell the word, spell the letters. So what is the word, everyone? Gently. Gently. I want you to say the word one more time. Gently. Listen carefully. Gently. Gently. So what does it mean? It means when you're doing something nice. Okay, do something carefully or lightly. lightly. Do something carefully or lightly. lightly. Well done. Okay, can you put the word gently in a sentence? Yes. I fed my cat. I gently fed my cat. Okay, and what does it mean? It means that I am carefully and, and nicely feeding my cat. Well done. Can you think about another sentence? Yes. I gently play with my sister. And what does this mean? That means I nicely play with my sister. 
Thank you for answering and putting the word gently in a sentence. sentence. Excellent. So everyone look at the G over here. Is it soft G or hard G? Hard G. Mm -mm. It's soft G. Okay, the hard G is when we pronounce it as G. Like great. Great. Okay, now let's move to the second word of today. So are you listening everyone? I want you to listen carefully and watch the video till the end. Promise? Yes. Okay, so look at the picture everyone and tell me what do you see? I see a girl who finished her painting. Okay, and what does this mean? When you finished uh, something, you started with. So what do you feel like when you get I feel uh, high marks or when you um, made something that make your mom happy? What do you feel? I, I know. Feel, I feel happy. I feel proud. So you feel happy and proud. And everyone, I am so proud of you. It means I feel happy and pleased. So, let's read the sentence together. Julia smiled proudly when she finished her painting. Okay, so what does this mean when I say proudly? She smiled proudly. To, show, to do something in a way that shows you are pleased with what you've done. So when you did something good, you feel proud and pleased. So can you think about something that uh, you have done before and made your parents proud? I want you to think everyone. Okay. My dad was proud that because I got a full mark in my exam. So he smiled proudly when he saw your certificate, right? Yeah. Well done. So let's read the meaning here. Do something in a way that shows you are pleased with what you have done. So I want you to say proudly. Proudly. Well done. Two more words left. So as you can see, there are two pictures and also two vocabulary words to learn. So are you ready to learn more? Yes. Very good. So let's go to this picture and I want you to describe what do you see. I'm going to give you some time. Look at the picture and remember every time we have a new vocabulary word we're going to look at the picture and then read the sentence. Okay? I see a big desert and so many small and big trees. Do you see big trees? Not really big trees. Not really. Okay. And what do you know about desert? Is that they don't have any rain or water. Well done. Most of the time, deserts have no water and no rain and it's very hot place and can you tell me what animals can live in such environment camels camels rabbits eagles snakes okay thank you for helping so would we say that the desert has no rain, right? Most of the time there is no rain. So, here is the word that shows something doesn't happen often. So, let's see it together. It rarely rains in the dry desert. Rarely. So the word is 
rarely and it means it doesn't happen often or often or often we can say two of them so everyone it rarely rains in the dry desert it means it's not raining all the time only it rains uh, let's let's say a few times in the year right yeah so let's take the UAE, UAE as an example like in UAE it doesn't often rain it doesn't rarely rain in the UAE so it's it rarely rains yeah can you put it in a sentence Yes, it rarely rains in the UAE. Thank you. You're welcome. And here we go. This is the last word for today. So, I am sure most of you know the meaning of this word because we used to use it a lot in the school. So, so look at the picture everyone and tell me what do you see? I see many cup holders holding colored pencils, pencils, pens and markers. Okay, and let's read the sentence. The teacher has a supply of colored pencils for the class. So when I say supply, what does, what does the word mean? So let's read it from here. The amount of something available for use. So as you can see that there are colored pencils, pencils, markers, pens. That there is a lot of things that you can use, right? So the amount of something, the amount, when I say the amount, I'm talking about a lot of things, things that you can use, right? So let's see the meaning, everyone. The amount of something available for use. Okay, can you use the word supply in a sentence? Yes. I'm going to give you some time to think. Say the word first. Supply. One more time. Supply. Okay, try to put it in a sentence. My sister and I have many supplies of colored papers. Okay, thank you. So you and your sister has a supply of colored papers. papers. Well done. And here we go. What you are going to do is to choose the correct answer. We're going to read what's written over here. Okay, this is the meaning. And we're going to choose the correct word. Okay, this is what we are going to do. You need to find the correct vocabulary word. Excellent. But before starting, let's say all the words together. We learned today four vocabulary words. So let's say them together. Gently, proudly, rarely, and supply. Wow, the words of today are super easy, right everyone? Yes. Okay, so let's answer these questions together. Let's go to question number one and read it. The amount of something available for use. Is it gently? No. Proudly? No. Rarely? No. Supply? Correct. Correct. So what we are going to do is to circle 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 okay here we go let's go to number two it doesn't happen often mm -hmm. can you read these words yeah gently proudly rarely supply it doesn't happen often so which one is correct? Proudly. Proudly. No. To feel pleased or happy about something you have done. This is the meaning. So think carefully. Rarely. Excellent. Correct. And 
still two more questions to answer. So are you excited to finish all of them? Yes. And I will be so proud of you, my lovely students. So let's read number three. Three. To do something lightly. To do something carefully or lightly. Lightly. This is, of course, gently. Great. So we are going to circle it. So gently to do something carefully or lightly. Correct answer. And here we go, the last one. So a way that shows you're very pleased and not ashamed. And that's the only word, which is proudly. Proudly. Well done. So a way that shows you you are very pleased and, and happy. Yeah, and not ashamed. For example, when you get high marks, you feel so proud of yourself. You feel happy, right? Yes. And here we go, task number two. Choose the correct word from the box below to complete each sentence. So you're going to read the words over here, okay? And then read the questions and try to choose the correct word. Also, the pictures will help you to answer correctly. So let's get started. Let's read the words. Rarely, gently, supply, and proudly. Okay, let's go to number one. She holds the baby gently. Gently, well done. She holds the baby gently. Look at the picture, everyone. Let's go to number two. He proudly shows off his rabbit. Excellent. Number three. I rarely have ice cream, so it is a real treat. The last one. I have a supply of colored pencils for the class. Okay, so let's check the answers. Yay, they're all correct. Yes. It's true. All the answers are correct. Can you read them now? Yes. Gently, proudly, rarely, and supply. Okay, read the first one. She holds the baby gently. He proudly shows off his rabbit. I rarely have ice cream, so it's is a real treat. I have a supply of colored pencils for the class. Thank you for helping. And finally, click on the following link and play the following game about the vocabulary words. So have a great day, everyone. I love you. Bye.